My name is Tom Porter, P-O-R-T-E-R. I'm a senior vice president of uh, production at, at Pixar. So um, I started on the very much on the technical side of, uh, of Pixar back in the very early days when we were part of Lucasfilm. And I have moved over into a little bit on the producing side and now watching over the 750 people in production to make sure these, uh, these films get done. I have very little to do with the creative side of, you know, so don't compliment me if you like the film, just appreciate that that film got completed. There was a lot of time spent with the folks from the Boston Museum of Science, uh, I, I guess two and a half to three years, coming out to, they came out to Emeryville, let's understand what it's all about, you know, tell us about those 15 departments that, that exist in, in production, um, and then you know, their challenge, along with Tony DeRose, who's the head of research at, at Pixar, was to somehow encapsulate what's going on in modeling, in rigging, in lighting, in effects, in, in uh, layout, to put it into a workstation environment so that you could, for example, talk about a problem like schooling of fish or Merida's hair in a way that... Um, you know, first of all, it is simple and approachable and understandable, but what, what delights me about this whole thing is that it relates back to kind of what you learned in sixth grade in, in math class or in 11th grade in physics class. Or um, So there's a lot about just straight ahead standard STEM education um, that I think if you're wondering, what's the relevance of algebra? Why am I learning this? Well, this, this exhibit answers that in many, many different ways. Because, um, you know, as I was saying to someone before, when I worked on Toy Story, I was working on surface appearances. And um, it was delightful that I, I came to understand that I was using high school math, stuff that I had learned back in the early 60s when I was in, or, you know, mid-60s when I was in high school. Um, and it was surprising to me that while in the mid-60s no one could conceive of a job working on surface appearances on an animated computer-generated film, the math that I had learned was somehow completely relevant to the job that I was doing. And so I think that's hopefully the inspiration here, that you know kids can understand that the math that they're learning in school has some relevance to, um, to what goes on out there in the world. The hardest concept is just the physical reality. You see a Buzz Lightyear statue over there, and maybe you think that there's a Buzz Lightyear statue at Pixar. Well, there's no Buzz Lightyear statue at Pixar. There is, there's Buzz Lightyear in the computer. And there is no, you know, there's no fish tank with Finding Dory in it. So people naturally think of a live action filmmaking world. But, you know, in the course of doing all our work at Pixar, it's all in the computer, and, and um, it's it's all about being able to control that virtual world in the computer, those characters, sets, and shots that are, uh, you know, in the computer. What I tell everybody, you know, sixth grader or college student is, there's nothing like just making a short film. There's nothing like getting together with your friends, getting together in some club, some, um, you know, some school activity or after school activity. Um, and it doesn't matter that it's done in the computer or with chalk drawings or with, uh, with claymation. Uh, just the process of trying to tell a story frame by frame um, is a wonderful educational process to um, show you what storytelling is all about and the detail that you need to create a believable world and appealing characters and everything else that's uh, is necessary.